The impossible dream has happened. Heavyweight history has happened. The winner, and once again, heavyweight champion of the world. We welcome you to our World Championship pay-per-view action. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Boardwalk Hall at the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey, a very highly anticipated rematch in our main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action between George Foreman and smoking Joe Frazier. George Foreman's focus is front and center as he makes his way to the ring right now. Joe Frazier's making his way to the ring with a determined giddy up in his step. dressing room. Let's touch gloves. You got this one. They're underway. Scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. Let's see what we get out of him tonight. Foreman's decision win last time out has a lot of people thinking that he's going to look prime this evening. Well, there's a reason to think that. I mean, everyone loves knockouts, don't get me wrong. But by going the distance, by getting those rounds, he got a little bit more practice, a little bit more confidence. It should serve him tonight. Committing to the body work now. He lands the right hand. That's well, it's very easy to see here. You have one fighter who has a distinct advantage in terms of the reach. What do you have to do when you're fighting a guy who you know can bring that long arm out and get there before you can? So there's two ways to deal with a taller fighter. One is the traditional way. Just tuck Look up, get up. a good defense, and make sure you start working your way in. Slip the punch, take that height advantage away. Bring your legs. The other is to step out, believe it or not. Elicit the taller guy to give up his height. Make him come to come you. On, keep focus. Nice strike after catching one by George Foreman. Let's see some more head movement. Let's see some more head Lance movement. Lance with the combination way. upstairs. Nice block by Joe Frazier. Keep working the body. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by George Foreman. He got caught by that right hand. He never saw it coming. He may be looking to clinch here. What a big shot. What a nice job by Frazier's opponent that time. Getting right into the kitchen against Joe Frazier and smoking him. Most ringside experts feel that this is very much going to be a tactical fight. Yeah, both these guys throw punches like they're paying for them. And guess what? They're both cheapskates. Joe Frazier's coming out here after being knocked down in the previous round. How important is it for him to be cautious here, to make sure that he does have his legs underneath him? You know, it's a little bit of a double-edged sword there, Joe, because 
if you're too cautious, hey, your opponent, he reads it. You're not in that ring alone, you know, and then he's going to get more aggressive. So you want to go out there, maybe faint him a little bit. Let him think you're okay. Let him think you want to go after him. Let him think you want to engage a little bit and then wind up boxing, staying on the outside, buying some time. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by George Foreman. Not able to land the headshot. Frazier's tagged. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by George Foreman. What a shot. Big hook comes in. Look at this swarming attack. Frazier's taking a barrage of punches. He could go down. Huge right hand comes crashing home. And now he's targeting upstairs. Wow! He just went down. The infighter went out, and now he went down. Hey, it's okay to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door, and as you said, maybe he's paying the ultimate price. Rising back up. That takes some guts. Solid hook. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. Joe Frazier lands a big left hand. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Joe Frazier. Back to the body. Right to the body. Come on, kid. An accurate left by George Foreman. Throw punches, okay? Don't walk into him without throwing a punch. Start of a new round, but will it be much the same? Frazier's been down numerous times tonight, Ted. Well, if there was a mercy rule like there is in Little League Baseball, guess what? It would be invoked right now, and this would be over. He scores with the jab there. You know, Joe, a lot of times you think about a jab being used by an outside guy, but to get inside, you need a cover. And there, right there, was the cover. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. George Foreman's doing a really nice job here. I mean, putting his punches together, this is what you're supposed to look like as an offensive fighter. Yes, it is, especially when you have a guy in front of you putting the earmuffs on. You know, you cover up the way that his opponent is, you're supposed to put them together. One or two are going to be blocked, but when you put them together like that, they're going to get through. Frazier's on the bad end of a flush, solid hook. Foreman's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Turned that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. You're doing great. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. That's where you want to be. That's move. Keep doing what you're doing. Circle, Little head knocking with that right hand. Move your head. And round three comes to an end. You're doing great. Keep the pressure on. Start of round number four. Foreman's well-skilled plan has earned him every round on your scorecard, Teddy. Yeah, he hasn't always been the aggressor, but he's definitely been the more effective puncher. 
landing the clean shots. Nowhere close to that punch by Joe Frazier. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two Aspen and then, go, oh no, actually I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. They spoke of this time. I think Joe Frazier needs to just bulldoze his way in and start clinching after being dazed. A big hook to the head by George Foreman. He's moving around the ring. Smoking Joe Frazier nearly got smoked right there. But somehow, he's able to recover. Still a lot of drama to be played out in this Keep round. Frazier's in better shape than he was moments ago, though. Yeah, physically, I agree with you. He's fine physically. But I got a report in camp about a week ago from some of my spies there that he got dropped in sparring. So, medley, I'm wondering right now if some ghosts are visiting him a little bit. Memories from that. Keep it tight nice. Nice. And that has some bite to it, that right hand. And out of nowhere, things can turn like that, Teddy. Everything was looking good, and now it's looking bad for him. Well, that's exactly why, because nothing was coming at him. His opponent wasn't throwing back. He got a little lax, and he paid a price. Yeah! Yeah! Good way to protect the midsection. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Joe Frazier. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. And, Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear-cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. With both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. Foreman's doing exactly what he told us he would do. Now, he was stunned earlier in this fight, but he's sticking to that game plan. You know, I like that. You know, I want to see how a guy behaves under pressure. He hasn't panicked, you know. He still believes in his identity, believes in his nice. talents, his abilities. And he's going to stay that way unless the guy convinces him later on. And he's holding. Frazier's inconsistencies are really showing up now. At times, he has shown defense tonight. Other times, with what we've seen recently, he's getting hit by the left hand. Yeah, what he has to do is now make the adjustment. Halfway into round number five here. Right back to it to the head. There you go. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Keep moving. You got this one. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by George Foreman. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Big right hand. Teddy, what does he need to do right here? He has no balance. His legs aren't underneath him. Well, you know he can't move because he's going to fall on his own or the referee's going to stop it. So believe it or not, he's either got to grab or he's got to stand on the rope, stay right in front of the guy and move his head to make a miss. He can't use his legs. George Foreman's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Another good round by him there. Teddy, he can't miss tonight. No, I'm taking nothing away from him, but you can't miss when your opponent goes out there and begs you to hit him. I mean, he's just standing right there asking for it. Well put together combination by George Foreman. You see him holding on. Keep moving. Keep moving. Frazier's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. George Foreman blocks that punch. Come on, get focused. Two snapping jabs by Joe Frazier. A headshot blocked. He got hit right there. 
but he also gave one. Solid effort by George Foreman. Foreman's showing us a real, real solid skill set here with his head movement. Teddy, how much of that is just natural athletic ability and instincts, and how much of that is being trained well? Well, most of it's trained well. If I take a guy off the street, Joe, and he hasn't been taught anything, he's going to throw punches. But usually he's not going to have a good defense. That's something that has to be attained. That's something that has to be taught. This guy has been taught good defensive fundamentals. Again to the melon. Missed the body shot. Now look at him. He does not. Did you see that? Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. He couldn't rise up and beat the count. I like the way he finished things tonight, Teddy. Warming's your winner by knockout in a fight that he controlled throughout. I'm glad you like it, and just as importantly, or more importantly, his trainer, his manager, and his promoter like it, because that means that he's going to be easier to sell now to television. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.